वेलकम एवरी वन सो लेट्स स्टडी टूडे द टू डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक बर्थ ऑफ स्टार्स एंड स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ स्टार डेट मीन्स हाउ द स्टार्स आर फॉर्म इन द गैलेक्सी एंड विच मेक्स द स्टार्स स्टेबल सो दिस इज फ्रॉम लेसन लाइफ साइकल ऑफ स्टार क्लास एट एंड दिस इज पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन सो लेट्स स्टडी और राइट सो अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज बर्थ ऑफ स्टार सो लेट्स स्टडी student huge clouds of a gas and dust are present in the empty spaces between stars in a galaxy and these clouds uh, are called as a interstellar clouds so here uh, you can observe the picture of a interstellar cloud um, interstellar clouds taken by the hubble space telescope uh, all right and scientists use a unit of a light year for measuring the large distances in between the galaxies and light year is the distance traveled by light in one year and as the speed of a light is 3 uh, lakh as the uh, speed of a light is 3 lakh kilometer per second the light year is equal to 9.5 into 10 to 12 kilometer and the sizes of interstellar clouds are about a few light years that is light takes a few years to go from one end to a one end of a cloud to the other so from this you can imagine the huge sizes of the cloud that is interstellar cloud all right uh, and due to some disturbance these clouds that is interstellar clouds uh, start contracting and because of the contraction their density starts increasing and their temperature also starts to increases that means as the density increases the temperature of the clouds also Uh, start increases okay and the and a dense sphere of hot gas is formed from the interstellar cloud and once the temperature and density at the center of the sphere increases sufficiently what happened the nuclear energy that is energy generated through the fusion of atomic nuclei that means different atomic nuclei fuse together to form a uh, greater nuclei okay and generation starts then that means nuclear energy generation starts over there and because of this energy that is because of the nuclear energy generation the gas sphere becomes self luminous and a star is formed or we can say that a star is born and in the sun and in the sun this energy is generated by the fusion of a hydrogen nuclei to form helium nuclei that means a smaller nuclei fuses to form a heavier nuclei that is hydrogen fuses to form a helium nuclei and this means that the hydrogen at the center of the star acts as a fuel and energy is generated by burning of this fuel that is by burning of the hydrogen gas so this is how the stars or uh, star formation have taken place in the galaxy uh, with the help of by interstellar clouds and interstellar cloud this is a collection of uh, this is a huge cloud of a gas and dust all right so student do you know uh, light takes about 1 second to reach us from the moon while it takes 8 minutes to reach us from the sun that means the distance of the moon is lesser than the sun and it takes 4.2 years to reach us from the star alpha centauri which is a star closest to the sun so long that you can observe the alpha centauri a and b and these stars are um, closest to the sun when a gas sphere contracts its temperature will increases and at the at the, the temperature increases density will also increases and this happens because of the transformation of gravitational potential energy into heat energy that means the gravitational potential energy is for uh, attraction uh, can transform into the heat energy and due to which temperature increases all right so more than one star can be produced by the contraction of a huge interstellar cloud it means uh, the due to the disturbance in the interstellar clouds what happened the interstellar cloud start contracting and at the uh, over the temperature and density becomes increases and due to this more than one stars or we can say a collection of stars can be formed from a huge interstellar cloud as you can see along a uh, long side diagram also so this picture shows a cluster of thousands of stars and most of these stars have formed from a single gigantic interstellar cloud it means a massive interstellar cloud 
सिंगल मैसेज और इंटरेस्ट इन क्लाउड कलेक्शन और मोर अमाउंट ऑफ स्टार मोर स्टार्स कैन बी फॉर्म और वी कैन से क्लस्टर ऑफ स्टार्स है Our next topic is stability of star. That means which makes or which forces makes a star stable. So let's study. Student, if you burn an incense stick in one corner of a room, the fragrance spreads all over the room instantaneously. And similarly, when we remove the lid of a vessel containing boiling water, the steam spreads in the surrounding region. This means that hot gas spreads everywhere instantaneously. Uh, then why doesn't the hot gas in the star disperse in a space why uh, they don't uh, and uh, why the properties of the sun remain unchanged over the last 4.5 billion 4.5 billion years uh, so in the previous video we have seen the properties of the sun remain same for 4.5 billion years and after 4.5 billion years they may gradual they may uh, start changing but gradually or slowly so why doesn't this happen uh, so and the answer of this question is the gravitational force that means the drag force of attraction or the gravity holds uh, everything together okay in the particular space and the gravitational force between the gas particles of the star keeps this particle together so gravitational force helps uh, the stars um, the gases and the stars uh, together and they don't disperse they doesn't disperse and if the gravitational force which is a constantly trying to bring the gas particles close together and the pressure of the hot gas which uh, is constantly trying to disperse the gas are balanced and then the star remains stable so due to the gravitational force all the things are balanced uh, together uh, and uh, st this makes star stable and the gases in the star doesn't disperse in the space student here you can see in the observe and diagram in which the gravitational force is acting inwards uh, towards the center of the star and while the gas pressure is acting outwards that is away from the center of the star and we know that in the center of the star uh, hydrogen gas is there so this is a uh, half the star uh, star getting a stability due to the gravitational force and pressure of a uh, hot gases attracting in different direction All right so student you must have played tug of war and in this two ends of a rope are pulled on two sides by two ropes when the forces applied by both the sides are equal they balance each other and the center of the rope remain static uh, and but when the force on uh, force on one side of the rope is larger than on the other side you know, the center of the rope moves towards that side and this is unbalanced force uh, so something similar happens in the case of a star also and when the gravitational force and gas pressure are balanced the star is stable but when one of them is more than the other then the star either contracts or expands so this is how the stability of a star matter matters most all right student you know or uh, that if there was no gas pressure in the sun it will collapse to a point in 1 to 2 hours so student gas pressure is very important uh, to make the sun stable all the gases in you know, the like hydrogen gases helium gases and different other gases are there which makes the sun stable and uh, gas pressure depends on the density and temperature of the gas so if the density and temperature increases gas pressure will be more and higher the temperature the density higher is the pressure I hope student you all have understood this topic and uh, next part we will continue in our next session thank you all of you